Hello my friends, welcome to another tasty little knitting tutorial. I'm going to show you this very cool honeycomb pattern. It's super fun, it's very thick. It's not stretchy, it's, it's going to uh, take a lot of yarn and you definitely want to knit a swatch to make sure that uh, you get the correct size for your finished product. So this is the right side of your work and this is the wrong side of your work. It's kind of fun too, um, but the right side is what you're going for in regards to your pattern. Uh, comment below and let me know what project would you use with this honeycomb pattern. So this pattern, you know, you can use a cable um, needle and I'm going to show you how to use the cable needle um, but I'm also going to show you my way of not even using the cable needle, okay? Two casts on, you're going to do so in multiple of eight. So I got eight here. I'm going to do one more repeat. So I got 16, that's in multiple of eight, plus two edge stitches. So I got a total of 18 stitches today. This particular pattern is a six row repeat, um, but four of those rows is just knit and purl. Okay, so this is row number one. You're gonna knit all the way across. That was row number one. Row number two and all alternate rows, you will purl all the way across. So row number three and row number six are the magic rows that creates the um, signature pattern. So row number three, you're gonna start out with your edge stitch, just like that. Now the pattern is gonna say uh, C4 uh, B. So C means uh, cross or cable and four as in total of four stitches is what we're gonna work on next. And B stands for back. So if you're gonna use a cable needle, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna slip the next two stitches onto your cable needle and C4B. So you're gonna put this in the back. Okay, put this in your back of your work. You're gonna knit the next two stitches And then you're going to knit the two stitches that you've put in the back. So you basically just crisscross, you know, stitch three and four with stitch one and two. And then the pattern is going to say C4F, which means cross four stitches in the front. So same thing, you take the next two stitches, you slip it onto your cable needle and you leave it in the front of your work. Then you're gonna knit the next two stitches and then you're gonna knit the two stitches you put on the cable. And that's your pattern repeat for row number three. So here where you put the two stitches in the back, it goes to the right and you put the two stitches in the front, your stitch 
will go to the left. So this is the part that you just knitted. Okay, so that's using a cable needle. So for a cable of four stitches, I don't really use the cable needle. All I'm going to do, um, I'm going to not knit the first two stitches, but make sure you don't lose them, okay? I'm going to knit the third stitch. Then I'm going to knit my fourth stitch. So it's a little tight, so sometimes you have to pull it. Just like that. And then I'm going to knit stitch one and stitch two. Okay, so instead of putting it on the cable needle, I just leave it on my left needle. Same thing the other way around. I'm gonna knit from the back stitch three and stitch four. And then I'm going to knit stitch one and stitch two and then take it all off the needle and then it knit your edge stitch so that was your pattern repeat for row number three and you can see how this goes right left right left Row number four is just like row number two in all alternate rows. You just purl all the way across. Row number five, you will knit all the way across. This is row number six, purl all the way across. Okay, so here we come to the other row that you have to pay attention to. So, down here we went right and left and up here we need to go to the opposite we need to go left and right in order to create the honeycomb pattern okay so you're going to knit your first stitch and then last time we knitted the stitch three and four through the front first this time we're gonna do it opposite. We're gonna knit stitch three and four through the back first, and then knit st stitch one and two, and then take it all off the left needle. Okay, you can see that the pattern is going this way. And now on this side, we'll knit stitch three and four through the front. And then knit stitch one and two. And then take it off the left needle. Okay, here you can see how you're forming the honeycomb pattern. So I think at the beginning I said this is a six row repeat, but this is actually an eight row repeat uh, with six rows knit all the way across or purl all the way across. So there's really only two rows you need to pay attention to. And then knit your edge stitch. 
Okay, you can see how the honeycomb pattern is coming along. Row number eight is the last row in our pattern repeat. And just like all alternate rows, you are going to purl all the way across. And there you have it guys, this is your honeycomb stitch. So as complicated as it may look or as complicated as the pattern, the written pattern looks, it's really not that hard. The two rows where you cross the stitches or cable the stitches um, takes a little bit longer. Obviously it slows you down, um, but six out of the eight rows is just knit all the way across or purl all the way across. So even as a beginner, you know, I am confident that you guys can handle this. If you learned something new today, uh, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.